everyone. It is Sunday, uh, uh, September 8th, but I probably will post this on Monday morning. And I just wanted to catch you up on what I have been working on because it has been so hot here. Who wants to even go outside? I mean, we are even beating temperatures of Phoenix right now. So, um, let's see, on Thursday it was 112, Friday was 113, today was 108, yesterday I think was 106, tomorrow is supposed to be 105, 106, we'll see. <sighs> yeah, it's really hot here. So, it gave me a perfect opportunity to just lay low and crochet. So, I think in my last video I mentioned that I was going to start on some loaf cats. And I used the pattern by No Catchy Name, which is Ella. And I will link the pattern below. So, I used that Bernat blanket yarn. And let's see where to even start because I just made one cat after another and there I used a 6.5 millimeter hook and I stuffed them pretty good so they're chunky 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 cats okay so here's one and I have a ton of these little pink noses so it's a little bit little but there it is okay so I have this kind of grayish brown one and then I have this one and you can see how I did the whiskers here and this was actually the first cat that I made and after that I didn't do the whiskers quite like that but I still did three whiskers and also I put on my own tail so although this is a no sew pattern I sewed on one piece. I just so if you want to make this pattern and you want a tail that looks like this, all I did was um, magic cream with eight, and then did ten rows of eight single crochets. So, plus you you gotta have a cat with a with an up tail to show that they are excited. Okay, so that's that one. I did another one and you can see the whiskers are are different they're they're not together down right here so okay so that's that one okay then I had some of that sort of gray left well wait a minute let's see and a little bit of that that multi brown so I did this one and you can see I kind of mixed it all in. So I am totally, totally used up with this color. <sighs> okay, so then, actually, I think these were like the second and third cats I made. Some little Siamese ones. Let's see. Yeah, there they, there they are. I'm also pretty much out of this size of eye. So that's those. I don't have a whole lot of room over here to work, but let's see. And then I did two yellow ones. So that's eight of those. <sighs> I made one of the Siamese potentially for the landlady. She says she doesn't have room, but we'll see. Okay, so then in my last video, I had said and shown a bag of the parts for um, five helicopters, and each helicopter is 10 parts. So it's a lot of sewing. Um, but then yesterday, and Saturday, no wait, yesterday was Saturday. So, let's see, Friday and Saturday, 
um, I was listening to a Christian conference online on prophecy. It was really excellent. Lots of great speakers. And um, I decided, well, while I'm listening, got to redeem the time. So I was either crocheting um, a love cat or I was um, putting together the helicopters. So uh, I have five helicopters that are all put together. Here's one. Whoops. Here we go. So you can you can see it. Um, here's a nice little yellow one. Let's see. And I have another blue one, but with brown highlights. And let's see. Oh. Here's a minty green one. I think that, yeah, that's the minty green. And then I have a red one. So, that has been my crocheting. And then, <clears throat> I've been wanting this one gal's patterns for a while. But I was just waiting for the right price on one of her books. And I I never I don't think I ever buy you or brand new. I only buy used. So the price was right on this one. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I'm sure some of you have seen this book. Um, Sweet Crochet Friends. So, it's a very heavy book. It's very well put together, um, very good quality paper, and lots of illustrations and good diagrams, like here's, here's Lily the Lamb. I don't know, let's see, where's, where's her title? Oh, her title's over there, Lily the Lamb. Anyways, um, Here's the back of it. Let's see. So, there's another one of her books I still want to get. Waiting for the right price on that one. So, we'll see. That's the way it is in the used market. You just have to bide your time till you get the price you want. So that's that's what I've been working on with crochet and I'm just about to start a love cat that's going to be small because I've got so much of this um, loops and threads skinny chenille to still use up so I thought I'd do one little yellow one and then I'm, I've got a bunch of hair ties that I will make some scrunchies out of and those will be going to my great nieces and I think that's kind of it for the moment so this is just a short video just a quick update and I just want you to know that I appreciate all of you that come by and watch the video and, and leave a thumbs up and I, I just hope that you continue to stick around and um, thank you all the new subscribers. You are very much appreciated. So have a great rest of your week. It's going to cool down here let me tell you. Uh, in fact, by this time next week, we'll be about 30 degrees cooler. Thank goodness. Actually, you know, September is our hot summer month. But we don't really go into fall until November. That's our fall. So, we only have three seasons in Southern California. Spring, summer, and fall. There isn't really a winter. But... I hope you all have a great rest of the week, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.